Good morning, it's Rob Brown with Rob's Vlog. And we're out on Copsy today, Derek and I, and we're in hunt of the famous fork barge that was purchased by Adam Gardner, his partner, uh, business partner Andrew. He's out on Cobb today, he's pulling a few docks, maybe a lift or two. We're gonna go find him and we wanna see this thing in action. So why don't you come on with us? Let's see what it looks like. Nice day out here on the lake today, out on Cobb. Uh, kind of quiet, so the uh, boat we're looking for is about 28 feet long, powered by a Verado 200, runs about 35, maybe 38 miles an hour, so once we see it, it shouldn't be hard to spot. Looks like we might have found them. What do you say, guys? The plan is, uh, guys are going to head down the uh, east shore of Cobbacy. Going to meet with uh, Andrew Monet, who is the uh, other right uh, partner of the uh, lift. G and L Contracting, and going to meet him on the shoreline yeah. here, and uh, going to go in and then pick this lift up. This is a pretty common sight here in, uh, in Maine, of course, where you know you got a little bit of rock around the shoreline. It's pretty good lift. Normally, you've got you know four or five guys in the water. This is kind of a deep water application too, so this boat is perfect. This boat, this fork barge, is perfect for this application. Um, where you'd have to wrestle this thing right up on shore. I think this makes much shorter work of it. Okay, I guess the plan is uh, the guy's going to pick this up and they're going to carry it down uh, oh, a mile or so down the lake and uh, put it on the shoreline down on, uh, at, the, uh, at these folks' other camp down at the other end of the lake. So it should be cool to watch. Now that they've got the uh, lift cranked all the way up, you can see where they just pull basically right into the lift itself. It's got some pegs on the forks themselves so that they get that up underneath the frame. So when they pick it up, it kind of slides back and it helps hold uh, the lift right into place. So you can see him kind of positioning it right now as he does. Gets a good bite on it. You can see they're pretty well squared up with it now. They're in about oh, five, five, maybe six feet of water out here. Pretty, uh, pretty straight down bank and a pretty good slope. You can see how easy a work this makes this. This is normally five guys wrestling this up the hill, and you can see it's pretty steep banking right there. Hence the reason they're uh, going to move it down to the other end of the lake. So they've got a good, uh, they've got a good grip on it at this particular point, and now they're backing out and headed down to the lake. turn it up you can see that uh, when he turns up you can see the two uh, the booms on the back of the uh, fork barge here basically those are made to stabilize the boat of course and to hold it into place uh, when they're picking something up or whatnot here uh, you can see them basically just lowering and now they're ready headed down the lake seeing this drive by uh, certainly would uh, pique your interest, wouldn't you think? Clean, efficient. That's a Verado. One of the new, uh, well, it's been around for a while now. 200 horsepower Verado Mercury. Great engine. Real clean. You can see we're at the head of the lake now, and uh, this is where the lift is going to be set. Adam's uh, navigating the boat right up to the seawall here. And we've got a nice flat uh, piece of property here where the lift will set well over the winter. You'll see he'll uh, get right up to the seawall, kind of bump it. Uh, in just a second, he's going to uh, set the power poles down, position the, the boat right into place to hold tight. And from here, it's just a matter of getting it set down and square it up on the property. The eagle has landed.
That's just cool. Yeah, that is slick. Yeah, I thought, <laughs> yeah your back feels better already, doesn't it? <laughs> the thought of contracting something and say, hey, can you pick my lift up and take it a mile, mile and a half down the lake and set it down on a more suitable place? Man, Adam, you guys have brought a really, just a spectacular piece of equipment to this area. This is something else. Hey man, you guys are the one doing it. Good job. Here you can see the guys are on uh, what their second lift that we've been with them anyway. I think they did one or two earlier in the day before we had come out. So uh, this lift you can see it's uh, Gary Violet's at the head of the lake and it's in a good six feet of water or so. And you can see they're making quite short work of it. Just bring it right around to the shoreline, uh, pick it right up, uh, drive up to the shore. Uh, when they get to the shore, they have the ability with the forks that extend to kind of push it onto the property, uh, get back, take another bite, and then extend it further into the property. I don't know what to say. It's just kind of cool to watch. back feels so much better already. Piece of cake. Put some water right there. That, that pops in a little bit of water. takes to wrestle that lift of yours in. Yeah, and then, and then uh, trying to climb this rock wall is no fun either. No, this, uh, this guy makes just like short work of it. Yeah, they've got one little piece left over there. Amazing. Who is it they were telling me their back feels better already? <laughs> <laughs> and they're not getting wet. That makes it nice so they can take this out in the moment. 47 degrees. Daddy, tell me a little bit about that, man. How many how many docks have you guys or lifts have you guys pulled so far this year? You think? Yeah, we've got about 210 docks out. Yeah. And we're up to 45 lifts. There you go. Hope I have to do more. I have a feeling that's going to compound before long at all. So. Yeah. Are you working with a few less people this year doing it, or? Yeah. Oh man, going up the shoreline and stuff—that's uh, that's amazing. Cool. I'm here with Ann, with Adam Gardner and. I just want to say thanks, man, for having us out on the lake with you today, man. This thing is cool. Yeah. This, this makes a real short work of it. Yes, it does. A lot easier, less people, and safer, and the back feels better. <laughs> no doubt about that, yeah. You're insured. Yeah. That's the big yeah. thing. Yeah, I think insured. to a homeowner, you know, that would be important to me that, you know, who's stumbling up and down the rocks, you know, are you insured? This really makes short work of it, definitely. Yeah. And yeah. going during the day, not at night. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. You don't do it after hours. Right, exactly. Cool. So, hey, it's something. This is a nice piece of you brought to this area, and uh, for folks out there watching this, call Adam, call Andrew, call his, call his company, and uh, have him come over and do your work for you. The guys are good people to call on. They're good main people. Hey, it's Rob Brown with Rob's Vlog. I'm out here today with Adam, Andrew, all the other guys, taking care of docks. It's been fun. Yeah, good day. Good. good to see you. Yeah, thank you for everything. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks.